Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Forgotten Coast Fishing. My name's David, and I fish inshore and offshore, showing you what I do to find and catch fish. If that sounds appealing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss my future videos. So it's been about a month since we've gotten out offshore. Had a wonderful family cruise. Got back, there's been kind of some cold fronts coming through, so we finally got a nice day. So we're gonna head out in the Grady and see what we can pull up in the box. So we're on top of this reef and we're gonna put out a couple different things just to kind of see what, what's on this reef and what we can pull up. We're gonna put a three aught circle hook chicken rig down with a six ounce weight with 40 pound test. And I'm gonna put a free line out there with 60 pound test and a seven aught circle hook. And then I'm also gonna use this 80 gram Johnny jig on the bottom. So we're gonna kind of get those things out and see what we can pull up here early in the morning. All right, for this free line, I've got a pinfish that I kind of kept after an inshore trip. A lot of times if I catch these fishing for trout or redfish, I'll just throw these in the ice chest and use them out here when I'm offshore. But how I'm going to hook it for this free line, I'm going to go ahead and hook the hook through the eyes and then pull that hook all the way through and then just hook it through the back. I found that's a nice secure way to hold this fish and should that fish grab it from the back, you know, it'll get that hook. All right, so our reef is somewhere right over here. So for lack of a better place to throw it, I'm just gonna toss it over there. And that's gonna slowly sink. And a lot of times these free lines will pull, out, pull up your bigger fish. And I do wanna kinda have a lighter drag just so we don't tear up the rod or lose it should a big old fish grab it. So we'll let that free line sit and we'll get out this chicken rig and that vertical jig. I think Roos got some something over here let's see what it is now trigger fish is in season and since I've got Ruth and Steven on board we can catch three trigger fish since you get one per person so let's see if she's got to keep her trigger it's not the easiest task getting a big old trigger up especially once they flatten their body like you've seen me show you a bunch of times which is what's happening here I don't think he's gonna be a keeper but he's a trigger fish nonetheless check him out First fish of the day, little trigger fish. He's about 13 inches or something like that. A couple more inches, if we get to 15, we'll be able to get him in a box. Before I let this guy go, look at all that blue in the sun. Very pretty fish. All right, trigger. All right, so here's this chicken rig. It's made up with 40 pound mono, and these are three alt circle hooks. There's two of them. And then at the end, we've got a six ounce bank seeker. And so we're just using squid today. And so I've cut it up into kind of smaller pieces. And I'm gonna try to thread this squid on several times, just kind of by flipping it over each time and then running that hook back through. Trigger fish are notorious for grabbing your squid off or shrimp off or whatever you're using very easily. And you know, before you know it, one little tap and it's all gone. The more you can thread this squid on here, the better. And I do like to wind up with my hook just kind of exposed a little bit, just to maybe increase that hook up. Now, the other thing we might be able to put in the box today besides triggers is red grouper. Um, all of our other grouper, all of our red snapper are out of season right now. We can keep vermilion snapper and lane snapper, just not red snapper. Well, it's not pulling too hard. Could be a vermilion, it's not, doesn't seem like, oh man, take that back. A red snapper and a trigger fish. She was just hossing them up. All right, check it out. That's a double for you right there. Unfortunately, neither are keepers, but nice trigger fish, nice little red snapper. You can tell this snapper is suffering from bear trauma. That's his stomach sticking out. So you can take this venting device and right behind this pectoral fin, kind of get in between those scales. And you can make a little poke. And it's got a hole in it right here, so that'll let that air out. So, see his stomach's kind of starting to go in already. And once he kind of starts to swim down, it'll kind of go in for him. 
See, there he goes, and he can get down safely again. All right, they got another one here. It's not looking that big. Of course, I didn't think that last double with the red snapper and trigger was big, but really kind of hoping for maybe some beeliners at this point in time. Oh, man. It is a trigger fish. A trigger fish? And he's a baby. Oh, look he's got a little trigger baby trigger fish. fish. Good job, Steven. Little baby one. All right, I've not had any hits on this jig. So I'm wondering if this reef is just these trigger fish and small snapper. Try a little bit longer just to see if we can get some bee liners. Cause that would be nice to get some of those in the box. There you go, all right. Come on, keeper trigger. Come on, bee liner. What do you think it's gonna be, Steven? A bee liner? Oh man, looks like it's got a little bit of weight to him. It is a trigger fish because I see him spinning. Or no? No, yep, trigger. Oh, I don't think so. I thought maybe he was going to be 15, but he's not. Unfortunate thing about these triggers, you catch a lot of them, but 15 is the minimum size where you can keep them. But most of the time you get 14 and a half, 14 and three quarters. Look how this guy was caught. Just in the lip right there. All right, well, let's get him off. All right, since we're catching just kind of mainly small triggers, we're gonna head over to a new reef. All right, we've moved over just a couple miles to another reef. See if we can grab some bee liners or those keeper trigger we're kind of after. First drop, first fish. How does it feel? A little bigger, maybe, yeah. possibly? All right. Keep, oh man. Oh, you got a lane snapper. All right, here's our keeper, everybody. Get him in the boat. Check out this lane snapper, everybody. Look what she got. Now, lane snapper, they don't get that big. So this is one that's a little bit on the bigger side. Of course, that keeper, that trigger's got to go back. But man, this lane's going in the box. Well, check this guy out. Look at him in the sun. He's 14 inches, 15 with the stomach, <laughs> but they only have to be 10 inches. So he's gonna go in the box. As I've shown you before, these lane snappers are such beautiful fish and they're really, really tasty fish. Well, let's get this one in the box. Here we go. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Oh yeah, man, this may just be bigger than that red snapper we just got. Could be two, but let's see. Oh, it took out a little drag and everything. Now, this isn't a heavy setup. This is 30 pound mono, three out circle hooks, six out weight. I mean, we're not targeting big monsters here, but you know, when you get a bigger fish or, or two, obviously, they're gonna feel a little bit bigger on this lighter setup. Just kind of fun fishing when all your trophy fish are out of season fun to just get out here and do this but man this does have some nice weight to it imagine it's a single red snapper or a double of some sort man it's a double of some sort it's a double of a trigger fish and a tom tape all right steven's got one but it looks like it's got a lot of weight to him Oh man, he's going back up under the engine. Get him back, get him back, get him back. Get him out, oh, oh my gosh, look. It's a big red snapper. Wow, look check it out. Fish. Man, not the biggest one out there, but that's a nice red snapper for this yeah. little bitty chicken rig. Good job. Check it out, Steven. Man, that's the biggest fish of the day so far. Check him out, everybody. Check out your red snapper, Steven. <laughs> you did a good job. What do you think? Man, what's he weigh? Three pounds, a little over three pounds. Woo. Man, and he was 18 inches, so he would have been a keeper. Aww. Feels red snapper season, but let's get this guy back. All right. Well, looks like we're getting a lot of tom tates here at this reef. A couple of nice red snapper. What do we get? A trigger or two here? And now that lane snapper, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So we may grab a bite of lunch and 
maybe look for reef number three depending on what we have here oh it's a beeliner well man all you got to do is talk about leaving and the beeliner bite now these guys are like that lane snapper in that they don't get too big but 10 is the minimum and these make some nice tasty fish and you can keep 10 per person so we've got three of us on board we could literally keep 30 but whoa man all right let's go ahead and get this guy in the box red snapper yeah jeez they're nice ones but just not what we want right now this guy's got to be vented you can tell even without the stomach being out you can see how poofy his stomach is there well there comes his the stomach right there another nice snapper this one was 19 inches i vented him his stomach should go in once we get him in the water and he goes down there he goes oh here we go all right decent weight to it not one of the big oh he got off now that could have been a vermilion that that tore his mouth it felt like and that can happen with those vermilions a lot of hope in my voice but maybe so let's try it again okay here we go feels like the same fish we just had no maybe even a little bigger it's got a, a lot of good tapping to it like it might be a snapper type rather than a more of a constant pull like the flattening of a trigger fish so maybe we're lucky here this was going to be our about our last drop or two for these beeliners just to give them one more chance and it's a red oh no it's a beeliner man it's a nice beeliner geez i thought this was a red snapper check oh sorry check him out man look at this beeliner man we were just we just ate lunch and we were just thinking man maybe we should go because while we were catching this red snapper and small trigger look at that beeliner man i can't even hold him with one hand hardly oh let's not let him go overboard what do you think harry that's the biggest beeliner you've seen in your life all right well let's get a measurement no uh I almost had them too. All right. Well, that's sort of a bummer, wouldn't Try you? It again. All right. Maybe well, that was good news. It was a good beeliner, but it was his lucky day. I guess he didn't live that big without being smart. All right. So drop two after the loss of that nice beeliner. Let's see if his big brother's down there. All right. It may be his brother, it's not his big brother, but hopefully it's at least a beeliner. We can redeem ourselves in some sort of way. Oh, uh, it is a beeliner. All right. Well, I think we drifted over onto the beeliners. While we were eating lunch, our boat, the wind changed a little bit. Ow! And we are in a little bit different spot on this reef. That may have made the difference here because it's been two drops and two beeliners. I know this guy is over 10, so I'm not gonna risk it by putting it up on the deck there and measuring it. We're just gonna get him in the box as is. Look at that, almost lost him again still. Oh, here we go, we got a double, got a double hookup. Man, it looks, roost looks pretty nice. Mine feels like the standard fish over here. What kind of fish, I don't know. Oh, nice red snapper. Let's see, what have I got? I'm getting the beeliners over here. All right. All right, our dog is eating fish throw up over here. Now, these aren't the biggest snapper out here, obviously. But, you know, we're catching some decent, nice snapper for these little light chicken rigs. 
just really fun to catch. Let's see what he measures before we get him back. So he's about 19 and a half. Get him in the sun. Man. All right, Mr. Stamper. There you go. Oh, whoa, it's Harry, I forgot about the beeliner. Harry's like, you forgot a fish? All right, another nice little beeliner. I think that's what, three? Was it something big? Did something yeah, like. Broke my line. Let's see. Oh, man. I got nothing. The line was all bent over. Wow. Everything. Broke it at the main line. Might have gotten in the reef, but we're really not on top of it. No, it was like. Yeah. Oh, something yeah, big. Got it. Something well, big. let's re rig. Yeah. Check him out. Man. Get him in. Yes, get this guy in. This is our beeliner. This is the beeliner. I think this is bigger than the beeliner I tossed all I uh, tossed overboard. Man, check him out. That's the I think that may be the biggest beeliner on this boat. I was worried he was a snapper. Oh yeah. I, I yeah, isn't that crazy? Worried it's a red snapper. But man, he was barely hooked too. I'm glad you kept pressure on him. Well, he got your well, you're yeah. the queen of losing everything. Look, now she broke that one. <laughs> Check out this beeliner. Do not lose I'm him. I'm not going to lose him. But look how big he is. Man, let's get a weight and a length on him. And just like I was saying, we had drifted over to that area that seems to be holding the beeliners. And we get this guy. Let's put the wrist thing on so I don't lose the boga grip too. This is a total length, so pinch that tail. And he's, he is about a little over 18, 18 and a half, 18 and a half if you open his mouth. But man, that is a nice, let's get him in the sun. That is a nice beeliner. Wow. All right, she wants to get back to fishing. What have you got? No. Got something good? You got it. Just keep going with it. What do you mean it's going away? It's taking a drag out? Man. See? You really want me to do it? Yes. Okay. All right, let's see what we've got here, everybody. Ruth just handed it off to me. He does have a little bit of weight to him. Don't lose my fish. Then. I'm trying not to. All right, well, let's see what we've got here. Yeah, he's... Oh, man. Big red snapper. Wow. Look at this red snapper, everybody. Here, let's get him on board here. Look at this red snapper, everybody. This is 30 pound mono and three alt. No, these are two alt circle hooks. When I switched, I went smaller since we were catching smaller fish. Look at that red snapper. Unbelievable in this little light tackle. He stayed on, passing off the rail and everything. All right, well, let's get this guy back. He was 22 inches. So this is a nice red snapper, especially for that little light tackle. Well, let's get him back. There he goes. All right, we're going to go ahead and call it a day. But what a great day we had, capped off by that really nice red snapper at the end on this little light tackle and those really nice bee liners, man. And that lane snapper, just it was just kind of a snapper day, I guess, really. But if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss my future videos. So until next time, hope to see you on another episode of Forgotten Coast Fishing.